Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated and the newly famous SethDavid.com. And I want to talk to you about a webinar I'm doing with my friends at ICB, the Institute of Certified Bookkeepers, on dissecting the balance sheet. Uh, you know, it's interesting that I, I have conversations in a lot of the online forums with a lot of bookkeepers. And sometimes I'm frankly surprised to find that there are actually bookkeepers out there who, you know, quote unquote, aren't comfortable with the balance sheet. And I think that uh, every bookkeeper should make it one of their goals, if they're not comfortable with the balance sheet, to get comfortable with the balance sheet. It's such an important piece of what you do, even if you don't realize it. All the time you spend, you know, used to be entering the data. Now there's much less data entry to do, but it's organizing, it's compiling, it's babysitting, coding and recoding the data, making sure it all gets in the right place for what purpose. Think about the end result of the work that you're doing as a bookkeeper. It's to be able to compile a proper profit and loss and balance sheet. And the balance sheet is so important. The balance sheet is your checklist for analyzing a company. It's what you work off of. When you go through the balance sheet, when, when CPA firms do audits, when they do certified audits, if you look at some, like the CCH guide, for example, is what I used to use when I worked at a CPA firm and I was the in charge on the audits. And going through the checklist, what you start to realize is that you're beating the hell out of the balance sheet and then going through the profit and loss. And the reason is the strong uh, relationship that exists between everything that's going on in the balance sheet and how that impacts us over on the profit and loss. A uh, couple of simple examples, accounts receivable directly, uh, you know, has a direct association with the sales, right? I, I, I earn revenue, I, I produce an invoice, that hits my accounts receivable. Is it possible I have sales that don't impact accounts receivable? Sure, I could have a retail business where it's paid on site. That's a little different, obviously. But the point is that as I go through the balance sheet, I'm going to hit on almost every single area of the profit and loss. And then we review the profit and loss, but by that time, we're reviewing really for a different purpose. When we go through the balance sheet, we're reviewing the books for purposes of uh, valuation and completeness. These are management assertions that are inherent in the financial statements. When, when public companies compile financial statements, that's essentially uh, what the CPA firm who does the certified audit is attesting to, is these management assertions. They're, these are assertions about the value of the business, the valuation of the accounts that are reported on the balance sheet. And as a bookkeeper, if you can start to understand this, especially going into the future, you know, we talk about the firm of the future, the firm of the here and now already. Uh, if you're a bookkeeper and you go into it understanding this better, then the time that you get to free up because of the technology that we have available, using all the apps that are at our disposal, that time, the extra time you now have can be spent providing a ton of extra value to your clients by simply gaining the understanding that I'm going to show you in this webinar, uh, dissecting the balance sheet. We're going to go through the assets. I'm going to show you how assets get on and off the books. We're going to do the same thing with liabilities, and we're going to cut through the equity section pretty thoroughly too. We're going to use my famous T accounts. I have a template in Excel, which I'll make available to everyone who attends the webinar so that you can practice this stuff. And I'm going to walk through a series of transactions that impact all the areas of the balance sheet and I'm going to show you how it looks in both QuickBooks Online and Zero. So join with me on Thursday, September 8th, and let's go through the balance sheet. Let's dissect it together. I'm going to make sure if you're not comfortable with the balance sheet that by the time we're finished with the hour, you're going to be extremely comfortable with the balance sheet, and you're going to have some resources and tools you need after the fact to reinforce that understanding and make sure that you can go into a meeting with a client with a ton of confidence and go through the balance sheet with that client and explain it to them and use that as your checklist for reviewing and evaluating your client's books.